Hi guys. I'm giving this one a try. This is just temporary setup, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath first. Sending lots of love and blessings out to everybody. Hope you're having a great day. I just realized in the live video yesterday how loud I was talking. I'm sorry about that. I'm new to that live, so. It's all just a testing thing. So I'm just going to use this video temporarily if it works today, hopefully, until I get things straightened out with my iPad and how I'm going to do things going forward. So I know the, the coloring isn't very good on this video and the lighting's not very good, but just bear with me. I have the Union Reed here. Okay, so that's the Syrian Starseed deck. And then here is the full read that you see in front of you. Okay. And I'll let you know the basic cards from this deck since I forgot to take the picture of the basic read. I'll let you know the cards as I go. We have the lovers right here in the middle of the read, the central card, and the two of cups is over here as the twins see themselves. They're both upright. We have the the Nine of Crystals reversed here, which is the Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Swords is the foundation. The Recent Past is the King of Cups upright. The Crowning Energy is the Six of Pentacles upright. Um, the Four of Cups reversed here. Two of Cups upright. Around the Twins is the Seven of Swords, which is reversed. And then the Queen of Cups is over here reversed. And then the Six of Wands reversed here. We have the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Twin Flames, the Two of Wands here, the King of Wands is reversed, and then the Two of uh, Pentacles or Crystals is up right there with the Lover's card at the end in the mini deck. So, in the Union read, it's a 45D60 Union read, so the bottom line is the fourth dimension, the middle three cards specifically, um, this, the middle row is the fifth dimension. The top row is the sixth dimension. The cards coming in on the left are the feminine. The ones going out, the outgoing divine masculine on the right. The underlying energies at the top, the single card. And then the uh, final card on the, on the right, the closing card. So this union read was done at 538 to 39, which is the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And the underlying energy was the Five of Swords, the Two of Pentacles in the center of the reed, or the Two of Crystals in the Syrian Star Seed deck, and then the final card was the Ten of Swords. So stretching and growing, which can be painful at times, surrendering to the universe, and ending pain, or experiencing bliss. It's up to you at 555. So we have all those five energies, which is all about change and expansion. The incoming Divine Feminine was the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. By the way, the vertical columns on the left is the Feminine, the right is the Masculine, and the central column is the bridge between them. So the incoming Divine Feminine is the knowing and floating and sharing with others, things looking up, an island to themselves with turbulent emotions all around them and staying clear, keeping their, um, their energy clear all around them. The fourth dimension here is the sun, the six of swords, and the ten of pentacles. The divine feminine with full exposure of Pegasus, Sagi. And I always refer to God as Sagi. So there's that energy also of Poseidon and Pegasus. The divine masculine with the ten of pentacles, family, business, and community. And bridged by dolphin playtime, which is Lemurian energy. Pegasus and Poseidon's adventure and Magnetic Metatron coming up here for the, on the masculine side. In the 5D is the Four of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. The Divine Feminine resting, salt, 
and clear um, sheets was coming up, like to clear your energy. I use salt in the shower. You can use it as a salt bath, but also a reminder to clear your sheets of energy. Um, so the Divine Masculine here at 7 p.m. last night was the chariot with a lot of zero or source energy behind it, backing it up, the chariot. The Divine Masculine climbing up from the basement with flame in hand, the wounded warrior or victim mentality behind him, both in a quiet place, the masculine and the feminine, bridging with surrender to the universe with whale etheric energy. So here we have the whales and dolphins coming up here, which are very important in stabilizing us here on earth. And the 60 is the king of wands, the, high, the hanging man, and the page of pentacles. The shaman king of wands, the sun on the left, or Leo rising, or mother or partner, or Leo, and divine masculine curious about their abilities in the sixth dimension, or with a page of pentacles child who is, or destinies of the king of wands, 23, or the Leo energy or strength energy of the dance of the eights, and the Page of Pentacles, or 68. And 68 actually just came up again when I finished doing this read. The 6 and the 8, so remember I said that. Bridged by the Hanging Man with the Right Knee Block, or Jesus' Exit Clause, Now You See Me, Now You Don't, or the King of Wands and the Page of Pentacles hanging out together to teach and learn. And remember the King of Wands came out in this read as well, reversed over here. Okay, so the Divine Feminine column is the 4D sunshine, exposure, the flower blooms, the 5D resting at the beach or in salt water for 6D shaman work. The Divine Masculine with the 4D Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, legacy, or the world at large, playing with crystals and the garden of prayer out back while the Divine Masculine is carrying the weight of the 5D up the steps with flame toward the light of day and the 6D curiosity and play. And remember, Outback is coming up as Austra Australia, so there may be something significant in Australia right now. The bridge here being the 4D peace and socializing, having peace of mind and the 5D surrender to hang out in the 6D to release any residual anger issues, holding you back from maintaining that high 60 vibration. The outgoing divine masculine was the Empress, the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups, the abundance and the mother energy and present wave climbing the stairway to heaven or mother with conflict blocking her from sharing or blocking her from that stairway to heaven and the bliss state. The number that came out from this union read was 71, which is the Three of Pentacles, the co-creation card for me. And the horizontal pillars came up as 15, 16, and 40, which is the devil, the tower, and the page of cups. The horizontal pillars came up as 7, 6, 4, 4, 8, 20, 5, and 17, which are the chariot, the lovers, the emperor. And then the eight of cups coming up, the walking away and within, judgment, the hierophant, and star. So holding on also the Four of Pentacles and Four of Cups and the Strength card coming up, holding on, grounding and integrating the strength and the dance of the Crazy Eights, right? The Twin Flames side by side. And also the Devil Tower and Page of Cups with the Devil suddenly being sweet and innocent at the workplace, perhaps. Um, the Divine Feminine had Leo with the King of Wands on her side. The Masculine had Taurus and the Page of Pentacles on his side. Capricorn or Pisces coming up between them in the middle. So the devil, the devil suddenly sweet and innocent at the workplace and the vehicle or lovers and the emperor walks in judgment of the Hierophant star, or again, having strength and holding on, grounding and integrating the dance between them. So that was the union read. It was a bit of a short one. And then we have the read in front of you which is the, the twin flame read for both the masculine and the feminine. And this was done last night for today. And today is the 19th, so we have the energy of the sun. Let's see what else was coming up here. So today's the 19th of the sun, and it adds up to the 28, which is the twin flames. So really positive energy today, the twin flames and the sun, everything exposed, fully energized. 
perhaps feeling better today after the past few days. And at 840, well, the Syrian Starseed deck was cut and dealt at 823. So there's the King of Wands again. And I'd started this page at 723. So the King of Wands is very significant here. The eight is the strength, the inner strength and outer strength and the dance between your masculine and feminine was cut and dealt at 823. And then at 840, F flames came up, which can be you saying F flames and frustration or the F of expansion and contraction, the phi energy. I finished clarifying at 854, 54 being the page of swords, the messenger. And the lovers is the only major arcana in this read today. The lovers is the center card in the read, that rainbow energy that you see beneath. And before the read, Luna came up. And Luna can have to do with the moon, but also the lunacy, the feeling like you're losing your mind kind of energy. We had three pentacles, two swords, four cups, and one wand. So mostly cups today and pentacles. So the energy of day-to-day -day life and money and emotions based around that energy. We had the knight of pentacles and the king of cups and the queen of cups within the main body of the reed. And after the reed, the knight of swords and the king of wands came up. We had triple twos and triple fours in this read today. Twos are very much about the feminine energy, the one-on-one, -on -one, right? The one-on-one, -on -one, which can be you and your higher self as well. But the one-on-one -on -one, uh, divine feminine energy of mediation, of being able to see both sides of the situation. And then the triple fours of that stability and that, um, that it's really the state of survival when you're dealing with the four energy of manifestation as opposed to the eight is manifestation of your dreams. The triple fours also are very much of the angelic realms. With triple fours, it's adding up to 12. And the uh, triple twos are adding up to six. So stacking up to the six of the lovers and the 12 of the hangman, but also the 6D to the 12D energy, having triple numbers here. We have double fives of the Ace of Swords, the Excalibur Truth Energy, and the 66 of the Queen of Pentacles, and then the 99 of the Compassion. A lot of compassion, endings, and universal selflessness. We also had 67, which is the Knight of Pentacles, the 24 of the Queen of Wands, the 46 of the Children loving each other, the Six of Cups, and um, the 69 of the Ace of Pentacles, that brand new life of perfect contentment. We also had 23 of the King of Wands, 34 of the Eight of Wands, the Arrows of Love, but also that energetic exchange, the 45 of the Five of Cups, perhaps the sorrow or longing or the not letting go of the past, and the 56 of the Two of Swords, the being in your knowing and keeping your energy clear or pretending not to know. We also had 79 of the Pot of Gold at the end of the rainbow here. And the code line was all about patience and nature, from the numbers seven and four, we had 11 on the code line, which is justice from the chariot and the emperor. And all around patience and nature was coming up. The expansion and contraction, always expanding and contracting, coming back to the zero point, staying present in the moment to the nth degree. The number 701 was coming up. I didn't look that up in Gematria, but, but you can look that up if you'd like. The 701, and it kept making me think of Levi's, even though that's 501. They might have a 701 too. I'm not... I'm not sure about that, but expanding and contracting to the nth degree, 701 and the one of two, the twins being the one of two, thy department of crystals, perhaps four offices coming up, and the queen of cups as I, like the lowercase I, which is the chakra system, kisses and hugs. So sending kisses and hugs within the same chakra system, then you feel each other. So also the message coming up here regarding patience and nature. Um, the back was coming up, turning your back or going back. The chariot here, which also represents the feminine within the masculine, the back of the chariot, the vehicle of ascension, the O1 of one of two, or the first of one of two, the knight of pentacles grounding and integrating the queen of cups. And I was getting 1100 here which is a lot of source energy backing up justice, truth and balance, and the shock of the X and human embodiment. And X has to do with 
the feminine in general. It can be the X, but it also can be X represents the dance of the eighth turn of both the masculine and feminine turning towards each other, the X. The eighth turn, the eighth note, not the quarter, but the eighth. Instead of one doing one quarter turn and just coming back to the same place they started out, like a square, doing the eighth turn dance, which then turns it into a diamond on the point, and then they're both doing equal, equal share. The expansion and contraction in a sequence. And then Route 701 was coming up, which is in North and South Carolina. So it's like expanding and contracting in a sequence through these states. You can choose which one, one of two. Route 71 through North Carolina and South Carolina. Thy good at Christ, like sitting under a tree, grounding and integrating with the Queen of Cups, I kissing and hugs. So it's really about that, that loving energy of just the six of cups of the loving children, you know, hugging and kissing each other and grounding in nature, you know, playing on the grass. The other things that came up under, and spirits connecting with me, the other things coming up with 701 were Supermoto Motorcycle and a bunch of different 701 addresses in Philadelphia. 701 Sansom Street came up, 701 Mercy Street and 701 Pennsylvania Avenue, which that came up yesterday too. And the Pennsylvanian. So there's something about Pennsylvania, perhaps. And then again, North Carolina and South Carolina with U.S. Route 701. And just this, you know, for us, the 701, the, those combination of numbers are really important for us. The ones and sevens. We always come up, you know, 117, 711. And here's 701. We start this twin flame read in front of you with the nine of pentacles reversed. And the nine of pentacles reversed... Oh, there it is. I was looking for my little sticky. So the nine of pentacles or nine of crystals here reversed is the energy of powerlessness. It's a dependent or someone spending money or making a big purchase. And here are the five cards down that I go. So those cards were the five of pentacles upright, the four of wands reversed, Luna, which is the moon upright, three of cups reversed, and the nine of swords upright. Out in the cold in exile, unstable without a home at night, lunacy and no joy, suffering in silence and feeling powerless. Atlas with the weight of the world upon their shoulders, walking away from the wounded warrior. Suffering in silence, which also can just be not sleeping well at night or just feeling stressed out at night. And all of those energies are fear. So the suffering in silence destined to stand up to those who would come against him. The truth offered to the past, but without an offer of a new life. The Knight of Wands reversed, paralyzed by his passions, the injustice of sharing a breakdown, a break up, a break in, or a being broken in, or a breakthrough, chaos in the state of emergency, the fight or flight energy, and the messenger of truth rushing in with a message for those feeling powerless and or dependent. The puppet master is only the tip of the iceberg in the division of slaves and slave drivers broken in, starved, and left dying or dead. The, the um, bare trees, the naked trees, the olive trees that I always talk about in the desert that produced the best olives because they found a way to survive in the least likely of places. Something beautiful in the end. Vincent Van Gogh and the movie's been coming up on Netflix. The dogs were out and out of control. The thieves and beggars and saviors and the middlemen giving away all its worldly possessions in the end, or dog ra ran out in front of a car, or attack dog not broken in well, or slave driver killed the messenger, can't have those not agreeing with him, broken without wisdom or ability to keep to themselves, and the impatient fallen angel, or cancer reversed, Pisces reversed, Sagittarius reversed, and Capricorn upright, as well as Gemini or Virgo reversed, a very dysfunctional Ten of Pentacles family, business, community, or legacy, or the world at large, or dealing with a loss in that respect. The one seeing things from a different perspective, the hangman, seen as crazy, manipulative, insecure, and dysfunctional, or decapitated, or talking heads at 1033. And I watched the movie At Eternity's Gate last night, which was about Vincent van Gogh. So that, that, that energy is definitely coming up, right? Because he definitely dealt with lunacy. 
and not being understood. At 1033 is the Wheel of Fortune, the 33 of the Christ vibration, the Seven of Wands, the standing up for yourself. The magician reversed with only one leg or one ear or hung up their ballet slipper and made the family very unhappy. And that also came up in that dance movie I just watched the night before. In a, in a true love e-story, now all seeing things upside down. Now everyone's seeing things that way. So it's like, you know, initially you're the crazy one, then all of a sudden everyone feels crazy. That energy is coming up. True love comes up and beneath that very soon, with sunshine upright and the king of pentacles upright, fantasizing, seeing synchronicities. So people, again, feeling like they're going crazy because they're starting to see synchronicities, but are they crazy, you know? Now questioning our, your sanity, like you guys all know because you've been through this for many years and understanding that feeling. Seeing synchronicities of grieving romantic tie from the past, fantasizing about the postman's delivery, looking back, and grieving the flame, the turtle slow to the book of love and romance. By the time he gets there, she was making out with the waiter already. Romancing the sun, Pilate washed his hands of it, 15 minutes of fame, now all in the past. Time out comes up here with the 37 of the King of Cups and unconditional love, and Christ was just coming up to with the hangman and Pilate. Healing with 16, 66, which is the Queen of Pentacles and spirits connecting with me. Um, the King of Wands reversed, feeling destitute. And that doesn't have to be financially, it can be morally, spiritually, emotionally, feeling destitute. With the Knight of Cups reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed, perhaps they're all unhappy or he's dealing with unhappy kids or perhaps his own bad childhood or a falling out with a wounded warrior in a breakup or lack of affection at 1045, which is a turn for the better with the Wheel of Fortune and the 45 of the Grieving card. Right, Grieving loss, regret, guilt, shame grieving the past and not being able to let go. The stinger is up here. That could be the sting as well, like the jig is up I was just getting. Cutting trees down. The fall of the Roman Empire. A love relationship with power. Jealousy and stubbornness here, or father and two kids out in the cold with no one to hold on to. A breakup or lack of affection or no affection. And the nine of pentacles reversed. Dependent, financial drain powerless, or the ex spent all the money, powerless to the knight of swords rushing in on their behalf of the ten of pentacles, reversed, family, business, or community, the true love story of living in the past, with a time out, and the devil, and their hostage, the temptation, and entrapment, or Capricorn with their hands tied, codependent king of cups, reversed, emotionally unavailable. Want to see where I saw him. Now the King of Cups. In mo he comes up upright in the main part of the read, but I was just trying to see where he came up reversed. It might be the Knight of Cups. When I come upon that, I'll figure it out. Oh, okay. Now the King of, here, the 37 of the King of Cups was coming up reverse there. That's why the energy was coming up right there. But the King of Cups is actually upright in the main part of the read. Um, the, uh, the most underlying energy here is the wheel reversed and the four of wands reversed. So perhaps a turn down in the home market or not destined to be homeless or unstable. And then going forward after this read, is some kind of satisfaction with the devil, addiction, codependency, or Capricorn upright burdened by Atlas, the weight of the world, or weight and the world, inspired by foolish behavior to heal and forgive at 1059, which is the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Swords, which is the war within. Issues with the workplace walking away from commitment, religion, establishment, marriage, and Taurus reversed, or just the patriarchy in general that's negative. And that's going forward after this read. So going back to the read in the recent past is the King of Cups upright with the Empress reversed, choosing a new path, 
performing, juggling without peace, and vulnerable, king of swords reversed, sharing or settling out. Clearly, the worst is over of bleeding out from a negative past or of falling out with a soulmate or child, resisting sudden changes, or in the aftermath of sudden events or epiphanies, explosions, eruptions, or a turn for the worse. The foundation here is the Four of Swords, the time out from overworking or things not working out, the Knight of Cups offering love in an announcement, judgment, or wake-up call, or the Red Cross delivery, withholding time, money, and effort, playing ball, or preparing for a new life, starting over in love at 1107, which is Justice, and the Chariot. The central energy here in this read is all about the lovers. I want to pull these cards closer to me, too. Um, so we have the central energy of the lovers upright. This kind of read rarely comes up with the lovers and the two of cups, two of cups and the lovers upright in the same read. And we have um, some other very positive energies like the two of wands upright at the end here as well with the knight of swords and the two of pentacles releasing themselves to the lovers again. So settling out under the radar or feeling a failure with the queen of cups reversed because we have the king of cups King of Cups is over here, and the Queen of Cups is over here at opposite ends. She's reversed. He's upright. The Queen of Cups ending the conflict or in a losing battle with the King of Pentacles upright, the King of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Cups re 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 the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups both reversed here, settling out, perhaps with the Knight of Pentacles. Lovers challenged by the Knight of Pentacles proposing something to the wounded warrior fallen angel. The King of Cups is upright, reaping rewards. The Wounded Warrior, Queen of Wands, reversed, missed her opportunity, perhaps, or is in need of help. The Queen of Pentacles, reversed, is on break, on rest, or meditating in 5D, or on convalescence, falling on their face from grace or lacking faith, and embarrassing self, or sharing codependent depression or alcohol issues, or no reunion with the Wounded Warrior, Ten of Cups family, tossing them out on their ear, which comes up with uh, Vincent van Gogh, or sending them on an errand here. And by the way, in the movie, Vincent van Gogh, they said, he said in the movie that he was, he gave the ear to the, the woman who wasn't a prostitute, by the way, but he gave it to her to give to, um, I don't know, was it Renoir? I forget who his friend was in the movie, whoever the, the artist friend was in the movie. That's who he was giving the ear to because he didn't want him to leave him. It didn't show that they were lovers. It just showed that they were very close and that Vincent didn't want to be alone, and obviously most people didn't get along with him because they thought he was crazy. So starting over with things not working out, purging, dumped, dumped on, in the dumps, overwhelmed by the Ten of Cups upright, happy ending, or emotional fulfillment, or is it? Because it could be the sham fam energy. With the King of Wands reversed, suffering in silence, or not sleeping well, stressed, or up at night, and standing up for himself, or clearing the fields. So he could be doing work out in the yard as well. The scales balanced for the one left behind and injured, seeing synchronicities and heaven in their eyes, or seeing things, needing the truth in a split, or one big lie with issues at work, in uncomfortable energies, perhaps of a breakup, the nine of cups happy with themselves and coming clean, or getting themselves cleaned up, sharing or settling out with the 10 of pentacles reversed, family, business, or community, or fantasy illusion with abusive treatment within that family or had been held prisoner or hostage, perhaps in a mental institution like Vincent van Gogh, harshly placed into a rehab, a hospital or treatment facility or the loony bin with no love, only time to see more new perspectives, looking back at night at third party or bad influences in energetic exchange with dependent financial drain or powerlessness of marriage, religion, establishment, societal norms, or Taurus hanging out, partying at night, or energetic exchange between Cancer and Taurus. Attention-seeking behavior and downturn of the housing market, perhaps, or instability or marriage issues here. Issues at work with clarity of clinginess or purging or overwhelmed and holding on to injustice or dreams, star or healer, and feeling guilty. Soon coming up here for the twins is the Four of Cups reversed, coming off the island, whole, the world complete, with Pisces of the sealed divine feminine, overcame, 
the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed, who maybe tried to get in their way or caused them to go crazy. And then she overcame them and moved on to present the truth about there being no physical union or issues with home, marriage, and stability. And the Queen of Swords upright speaking to the King of Wands reversed with his back turned and he focused on the Six of Cups reversed, perhaps issues with kids or falling out in the past with a soulmate or their twin, unable to manifest and feeling insecure without tools, making an announcement or a wake-up call. The twin flames seeing themselves as the Two of Cups upright, joining forces to protect and defend those paralyzed by their passions at 1128, which is justice and the twin flames, the choice of path. Um, falling sh um, so helping others to protect and defend those paralyzed by their own passions, like Vincent van Gogh, and then falling short of others' expectations, also protecting and defending those uh, um, who may have felt you know done wrong by the Ten of Cups family, right? The perfect family on the outside, but with all the issues on the inside. At eleven twenty-eight, with weak. Weak in ego death or out of control, those who need help or needing strength and courage and needing good health to heal and forgive. As the king of pentacles upright in a rift with the emperor upright or bad blood between them, but they're both upright here. Or this could be two kids acting up and they're perhaps now the king of pentacles and the emperor are now working on the same page. And that could even be a father and son who had an awful relationship growing up and now they've found something to come together on. And spirits connecting with me. So the King of Pentacles and Emperor working on the same team now to help kids get their acts together. Pay attention to the red flags comes up and spirits still connecting. Stay optimistic and chemistry. Around the twins are how they're seen is the Seven of Swords reversed with messages only dribbling in. The Page of Wands inspired after a sudden event or epiphanies where the worst is over and the bliss is setting in. With the Two of Cups upright and the Hermit shedding light on it, with the Knight of Swords witness or a backup or a best man coming in here. There's a very loving energy right here with the Two of Cups, the Hermit shedding light on it, and then here's the Knight of Swords rushing in, which can definitely be a witness to a ceremony or the witness of a coming together. This could be a witness of a UFO sighting too, right? With this is a UFO sighting. And this is the inspiration, like me getting excited to tell you what I saw and then finding out today that there's been, you know, news reports about it from several major newspapers about the Pentagon releasing the information. So the challenge being the Queen of Cups reversed, giving up the booze or depression issues and the Queen of Swords with the truth and the King of Wands reversed with kids reversed, perhaps not listening to her. Right, the King, the King of Wands and the kids not listening to her, perhaps. So nature versus nurture was coming up along with patience here. The star, the healer, the dream girl, or the Aquarius upright, or the age of Aquarius that we're in. The hermit or Virgo missing their flame. Teaching and learning coming up and financial discipline. Settling out under the radar on a home or family where kids, pets, or Leo are offering passion, growth, and creativity, or authentic inspiration. The King of Wands is reversed, tired, maybe not sleeping well, standing up, standing in, or clearing the fields, or manual labor, or yard work, which is help releasing those tensions. The Knight of Swords passing 5D messages, with Scorpio reversed, holding on to Libra reversed and Aquarius upright, the Knight of Swords growing from the frog to the prince, right? That's stretching and growth. And the Twin Flames, the choice of path, and the eyes of Laura Bars coming up. And the King of Wands reversed, surrendering his choices to the divine lovers or to his own divinity here. So there's no joy for the one suffering in silence, the one with sleepless nights, the one who's stressed out at night or purging, and the one then powerless on time out to be the Two of Cups holding back downloads or cleaning up their act. The King of Cups lovers and challenged by the Knight of Pentacles offering to pay to get the Queen of Cups reversed off the island. This can be um,
This could be about sharing or settling out, but doing it under the radar, not wanting any to draw any negative attention, sending out a message to end the war within, with the twin flames and the king of wands reversed, tired and surrendering to lover. The nine of pentacles reversed, powerless or dependent or financial drain, which can be the king of cups or of the king of cups in a breakup, resting in the 5D connection with lover and sharing, challenged by the Knight of Pentacles proposal or offer, and the Two of Cups coming together out of turbulent waters onto dry land, slowing down the downloads for or of the Queen of Cups reversed, who may be feeling like a failure and in need of attention. The Knight of Swords passing and the Frog Prince not catching. The Twin Flames and the King of Wands reversed, giving a choice to the Divine Lover. Lovers upright, two of cups upright, starting over and challenged by an offer of balance, sharing, and a need of attention from lover at 1147, which is justice and the seven of cups. So I recapped the read again this morning because I was guided to do that. I did a healing this morning, which was a really good one. And I was reminded that April 11th was the real um, Easter energy timeline here, not the week prior to that. And then um, a, an, an article about the UFOs came up, an older one, about 2004, which talked about the super hornet exercise. And the green hornet came up yesterday. And then the visions of the triangles, the UFO, were green, which is very much like the Five of Swords card in this deck because he's juggling green orbs in a triangle. So again, bringing up the uh, UFO energies and the uh, news released by the Pentagon. So yesterday's cards, as a recap, starting here from 1137 to 42, there's a recap here for a fresh perspective today, because I guess we were still in the more negative energies yesterday and going into the more positive energies today with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, right? The powerlessness after being stressed out or not sleeping well or being powerless to the 5D connection and the messenger of truth rushing in. The Two of Cups, that deep bond or connection or soulmates coming clean or cleaning up the actor space Two or four, the King of Cups lover, challenged by an offer or proposal to start over again with the Queen of Cups reversed and share, to be charitable, to settle out or settle down under the radar, to send out a 5D message, to stretch and grow, to stand in their truth as the twin flames, the King of Wands reversed, surrender to his divinity and the Merkaba, the two lovers and Gabriel, the three angels and the Merkaba. The three-sided pyramid coming up having four points and the energy of the, the Merkaba being fourth dimensional visually. The Merkaba has eight points, but also it has six points where they meet, the two pyramids meet together, which six, eight and six equal 14, which 86 came up in the beginning of the read. And I told you to remember that, eight and six. Eight and six is 14 of the angels. And then two Merkabas is 28, which is the twin flames. Dependent, powerless, spending, paying big bill, the king of cups upright without physical affection in 5D connection, lovers sharing and ba sharing and sharing balance. The challenge being the knight of pentacles offering help or proposal of the two of cups starting over on dry land, coming clean with the queen of cups reversed about failure or doing so under the radar, sending a 5D message for the frog to stretch into the prince the green hornet seeing the green triangle, juggling the two flames or their choice of path, and the king of wands reversed, tired, sick, or just sick and tired, and surrendering to the universe, to divinity, as the angels sing, ah, and the Merkaba swings at 1158, which is also the dance. 1158 is justice and the four of swords, which is the 5D connection. So let's go ahead and pull an energy deck card and see what comes up for you guys. Take another deep breath. It's our takeaway. 
right, we're at 39.55. That's not too bad. All right, so from the energy deck, what is our takeaway from this read today? <sighs> okay, with a broken heart. So here's that energy of the separation. And that's the number nine of the hermit the endings, universal selflessness. But again, it's about the stretching and growing because once the, the heart stretches and grows, it then heals and becomes bigger and stronger. And then we have the 23 of the King of Wands. So this is having to do with the King of Wands and playing coy, right? Playing games, being in his feminine energy, perhaps, not wanting to take the responsibility of the broken heart and healing it. And then coming into the 40 of, sorry about the visual, this camera's not that great. So bear with me until I get my new setup taken care of. All right, so we have the Archangel Metatron, which is the third eye. And coming back into that very innocent page of cups like state of your power, because now that's where the power lies in your inner child the sixth chakra or archangel metatron in the third eye connecting with your higher self the bottom of the deck then is the the sun so again making sure you get some time in the sun to get the rays and the codes and that's the um the one of the magician perhaps after some indecision this weekend this is the underlying energy though going away so it's really focusing about this message about the king of wands and coming into their magician embodiment here. All right, let's see what the journey of love has to say for us today. From the journey of love. What do we need to know from the journey of love? Okay, there's the Christ flame again. So it's very much that energy coming up of, you know, feeling like you're going crazy and being the victim on the cross, letting go of these last energies. And that's number 31, which is that expansion conflict energy. And then the shifting universes that we're going through right now. And we talked about the codes too. There's, because that picked that, card is all about symbols as opposed to names, you know, making it more simple and symbols. And that's number seven of the chariot, the vehicle of ascension, being the symbols and the music, the sound, the shifting universe, and the Christ flame. I'm getting G clef here, but really all the clefs, the music symbols, So there's a shift in the universe going on, which may be all the discomfort we've been feeling this weekend. And then there's a sacred convergence here, which is the twin flames. It's the 28. Okay, so coming together in sacred convergence. And then things get a lot simpler after that with the gifts received of the 13. And the, that's the change. That's the portal, the 13. And then the cosmic butterfly of the mother and the transformation from the caterpillar to the butterfly. So it's like there's, there was a sacred shift and convergence this weekend. And now we're going into the simplicity of starting over again, right? With simplicity of being out in nature and connecting with nature and the mother, the mother energy of transformation. And that's 36, which is the Atlas energy, the weight of the world upon her shoulders. And then this, then the 26 of the Page of Wands comes up with the Guardian of the Soul family, this card. The bottom of the deck is Shakti, which is 19 in the sun, but that's like that warrior feminine energy of Shakti. Very much the lower chakra system, that energy of survival came up this weekend. The 19 of the sun, and where I saw my pictures of the sun, right, of the ships up there. The warships. And here, the car beneath that was coming together with the 66, which is the Queen of Pentacles. 
So the churning out, the pumping of the heart, pump, get the, getting the blood pumping. Take it out to the sun to release the last crap from the root chakra and the sacral chakra energies, which feels very uncomfortable, right? Because we don't feel safe or secure when we're, we're working the root. I actually started this whole thing before I saw the UFO sighting on Friday morning. I had done a big root clearing the day before. So it's definitely revolving around that insecurity, right? Because when we start disrupting our root, it makes us feel really unstable. Yeah, so let me go ahead and read to you the Christ flame, because that was the first card out, 31. Within you burns the flame of Christ. Beyond religion, this flame belongs to all hearts willing to receive the divine, which the reading ended up that way as the King of Wands surrendering to the divine, opening it to it as a lover would open their heart to receive the beloved. Though the awakening of Christ within brings greater closeness to the divine and therefore greater love and depth of compassion, it too can bring sadness, righteous anger, and a passionate need to contribute positive healing action and change in the world. You may be an introspective soul who does this through mastering their inner world, meditation and yoga, raising your own vibration with absolute intent that this bring healing to the world around you. You may be an extroverted soul that thrives in sharing messages and living a life of dynamic action in support of the causes that are worthy and moving to your brave heart, capable of feeling divine outrage and responding with inspired action. You may be a combination of these soul types and choosing wisely what you consume, which companies you support, what television you do or do not watch, and what you read, voting for the life that you want to have around you in the world through your actions, internal and external. This is the Christ flame igniting within you setting the world aflame with the fire of divine love. This oracle brings guidance that you're connecting with the universal Christ consciousness and your heart's meant to awaken as a sacred heart, bearing the Christ flame of divine love this lifetime. You are part of the wave of awakening happening on the earth now, and you're exactly where you're meant to be and doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. Keep going. The poem reads, Love is more than words can define. It's a feeling which wells up inside and longs for release. It's a smile which starts in my heart and spreads across my face like a silly grin. It's a knowing so deep in my being that every cell speaks in a language only lovers know. And most of all, it is the beginning, the birth, the possibility, and the promise of a tomorrow, the hope that grows into something we can only imagine when hearts combine and love becomes more. Okay, guys, take a deep breath. Make sure you drink plenty of water and try to get as much rest as you can. Um, get your joy in nature. And as always, rise and be loved, guys. I will see you soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.